Well, good morning. It's a beautiful day here in Vermont. And we're finally going to make a little video about cutting a log. I've got a piece of hemlock on here. It's a, I think it's a 12 foot log. Might even be a 40, it's a 14 foot log. Well, we'll take a quick walk around the mill and we'll fire it up and we'll saw this log. Well, if you've been following the videos, you'll know that I made this. It's, uh, the blade is 13 feet 2 inches, it's got a 22 horsepower V-twin and basically uh, it's electric control with a hydraulic lift and everything else is manual. It's electrical drive, it's got a 110 volt variable speed motor on a chain running right down the side of it here which drives from a sprocket way back at the other end right there and you just see the motor under there. This is the back side. You can see the water tank or the, the uh, lubrication tank on the right, the white tank. I'm running a basically a soap and water. You got the red gas can, uh, gas tank there. That's from a, uh, it's basically a boat tank. Up on top, there's a black box with the battery to run the uh, hydraulics up and down, and a few other things. And there's the hydraulic pump. You can see the cylinder on this side. There's the story board with the uh, indicator. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'll zoom in a little. There it is. Right there's the indicator. The pump to tighten the belt, uh, to tighten the, uh, the blade. I run about 1500 pounds pressure on that. Between 15 and 2000. And uh, over here is the control box. It's all electrical controls, everything on it is run by 12 volt control and some of it's 120 volt actual uh, voltage that we control but everything is either a switch or run through a uh, relay from a switch. And when we get running, uh, I'll show you how that works. There's two 110 volt switches that kill all the 110 volt that's on the machine. So if we come down the side, you can see the jacks. There's six jacks. There's three uh, dogs. They're just over-center dogs. On each end is a, uh, a dog board that lifts. It's just a jack turned upside down and uh, it lifts each end of the log. If you look, this has some taper in it. On this end, I've got the dog board up about, about an inch to get the taper out of it, to divide the taper in half. We'll do a quick review of the uh, controls because once the engine starts, probably won't be a lot of talking that works for as much. So on the side is up and down. This controls the hydraulic pistons. I'm going to take it up. Or down. I don't know if you can see it, but the storyboard, the pointer is going by as we go up and down to tell you exactly where you're at. And then for drive, the drive is controlled here. There's forward, reverse, and speed. This is the uh, dead man switch to make it drive. So you have to hold the dead man switch. We'll go ahead and drive it. And you hit that. Speed control. On this button is the uh, lubricant solenoid. You'll hear that click in. Throttle. And the throttle, you have to throttle it up manually. But when you want to throttle it down, you just hit it. It'll go all the way to idle. This is for the uh, guide. This is a guide lock to tighten it in. And this is the, the actual guide drive here. This one is for the uh, debarking saw. You can hear it click in. I haven't got it turned on on the saw. And these, this turns off all of the 110 that goes to the charger. I've got an onboard battery charger. And this also does the debarking saw. If, I, if something happens, I can turn it off at the end of the day. This is the drive. It's a 110 volt drive, so if an emergency comes, something's happening, I can turn that off. 
or at the end of the day I can turn it off. So that's about all there is to it. So we'll go ahead and uh, get the motor started. It's just a matter of starting it up here. We'll get the, the blade tensioned and uh, we'll make a cut. So I'm going to try to set up so you can see everything. I doubt I can do that, but I'll give it a good shot. Start her up.
Well, you got one more cut to make. What you hear is the battery charger running. I'm just going to shut that off. So I, what I want here is I want two 4x8s to use as a ground cover for some to put on the ground for some wood crates I've made that I'm going to fill with wood. So I've cut this one at 8 and a 16th. I'll cut this one at 4. That's 4. And we should get two 4x8s because it's an 8x8. It's an 8 by 8 and a 16th cant right now. So we'll fire it up and make the last cut. Maybe I'll even run in the... Uh, guide a little bit. So that's the guide. Now you hear the lock. There it is. So I'm going to back up a little bit and saw this one out.